This element is so rare, there's basically zero of it on Earth naturally. And yet, we make tons of it every year. Meet Neptunium, element 93, and it's absolutely wild. Here's the thing, Neptunium is what scientists call a transuranic element. That means it's heavier than uranium, and it doesn't really exist in nature anymore. Why? Because it's radioactive with a half-life of just 2 million years. That sounds long, but Earth is 4.5 billion years old. Any Neptunium that existed when our planet formed has long since decayed into nothing. So how do we have it? In 1940, two physicists, Edwin McMillan and Philip Abelson, were bombarding uranium with neutrons at Berkeley. They created something that had never existed on Earth in billions of years. They named it Neptunium because Neptune comes after Uranus in the solar system, and Neptunium comes after Uranium on the periodic table. Clever, right? This was huge. It was the first transuranium element ever created, opening the door to an entire new section of the periodic table. Now here's where it gets interesting. Even though neptunium doesn't exist naturally, nuclear reactors create about 50 tons as a byproduct every year. It's also incredibly dense, nearly 20 times heavier than water. A basketball-sized sphere would weigh about 325 pounds. And while most people worry about plutonium and nuclear weapons, Neptunium-237 is actually one of the longest-lived nuclear waste products we have to deal with, sticking around for millions of years. But Neptunium isn't just radioactive waste. It's used in special detectors for finding illegal nuclear materials. The problem with Neptunium? It's extremely radioactive and toxic, making it incredibly difficult and dangerous to work with. So Neptunium, an element that nature erased from existence billions of years ago that humans brought back to life and that we now create by the ton without even trying. The periodic table is wild, folks. If you want more mind-blowing element facts, smash that like button and follow for more.